The next company is called Activity Stream, and they aim to take underutilized data within companies and turn it into actionable items. Stefan Baxter, please. Mr. President, uh, distinguished guests, so you didn't find the little box thing? <laughs> so, um, my name is Stefan Baxter. I'm here today with my partner, Stefan Freyr, to introduce to you our latest product, Activity Stream. But first, a bit of background. I've always been quite obsessed with technology. And for the past 25 years, for six different startups, my role has been to bring new technology to businesses. For the past four years, however, I have worked for a non-startup. I got a real job. I was working for Iceland's biggest insurance company, Vs, And there, I was responsible for the adoption of new IT infrastructure and services. I got to experience firsthand the challenges facing large and medium enterprises in regards to IT. You see, it's a common misconception or an assumption that IT infrastructure running a modern company containing all these cool business systems is capable of answering any relevant question at any time. Some would also assume that in these systems, you could see the big picture, a complete view of your world. But the clear and complete up-to-date picture is hardly ever available, mostly because these systems are or become silos, even when integrated properly. This fragmentation is making valuable knowledge inaccessible, and in order to gain some overview, some insight, this is information is often reduced to graphs or abstracts in an overnight process. This leaves us looking at the road ahead through a limited rear view mirror. The question I believe we should really be able to ask these systems to answer, and the million dollar question for me is, what do I need to know now, at this point in time, to perform my very best? You see, there are so many things happening around us in daily operations, things of values that are reflected in these systems. Things that collectively may represent threats, opportunities, or set situations, all of which will remain hidden until they are observed as they happen across these multiple systems and with full context. A simple example of this is a premium customer calling your call center, support center, multiple times in a short period, but always hanging up before being answered. For me, this is clearly a premium customer that has something pressing that he needs to tell you. He's also pressed for time. He hangs up. And he's probably frustrated, even frustrated enough to consciously or subconsciously decide to take his business elsewhere. If we could know this at this point in time and we could reach out, we could notify an account manager, call him up, say, hey, so you've been trying to call us, what can I help you with? We are not only improving our service with this, we are reaching out to a customer when he is most suggestible. We are taking a customer that's potentially aggravated and we are turning him around 180 degrees into a champion. Now, this is the true value of actionable right time intelligence. And I'm sure you can individually think of a similar case. This is also why we are creating Activity Stream. For us, it's the missing piece. Activity Stream is an operational intelligence layer that makes your organization better and more effective by turning underutilized business data into actionable intelligence and insights. It does so by observing the actions and activity taking place across other business systems to construct a complete 
synthesized view of everything happening with business value. When activity stream recognizes a threat or an opportunity or a situation, it immediately provides right-time intelligence to the appropriate stakeholders so that these observations can be acted on, proactively taken advantage of. Now, I would like to show you where we are at by giving you a glimpse of our first project. Our customer, Mobilitas, is the sole mobile partner for Ticketmaster. They are responsible for 35% of all ticket sales in the US on mobile platforms. Their operational challenges are that their traffic is very spiky. When a major ticket goes on sale, something popular, their traffic increases tenfold in less than a minute. Additionally, a significant portion of this traffic are scalpers, automated programs that buy up tickets to major events to sell them with high margin on the secondary market. With real-time analytics, we're able to uh, show them an up-to-the-second view of what's happening. Here we see a dashboard for ticket purchasing taking place that instance, something that was previously unavailable. But we also provide them with actionable intelligence. And I know even though this list may not look like much, it actually contains actionable items, all the observations that the activity stream system is making. And here, we can see that a single computer on the internet is matching four behavior patterns that suggest it's an automated scalper. And this is really valuable. I tell you why. This allows mobilitors to dynamically deny them access, which reduces their operational cost considerably by reducing the scalper traffic. But it does more. It allows real people to buy the tickets and not having to go and buy them at a higher rate on the secondary market. So here, we are both improving customer satisfaction and lowering their operational costs considerably. We are able to detect those amongst hundreds or even thousands of messages flowing by every second. During this proof of concept, we have analyzed more than 70 million events daily. This, this is a fairly young project for us, but we have already been able to materialize considerable value for our customer and ourselves. We, we could focus on this market and service any of the thousand big e-commerce vendors out there, but we could also use this same core ability to provide operational intelligence into other industries. Banking, insurance, telecommunications, airlines, media, and manufacturing would all benefit from operational intelligence. With it, we can improve customer lifetime value between 3 and 5%. We can reduce fraud up for insurance and finance upwards of 3%. And in manufacturing, we can improve throughput and for, or performance by anywhere between 1% and 4%. Early next year, we will start offering Activity Stream as a subscription-based service in the cloud. Our product modeling and modest pricing is based on that of successful companies which also provide uh, valuable services to organizations on similar terms, but with different focus. New Relic helps developers and systems to perform better, while Zendesk helps, uh, help, runs help desks for its customers. We will strive to attain a similar growth path as these role models, each a leader in their respective fields. The activity stream team is small, but with considerable experience. We have worked together before, and we have a high success rate, both collectively and individually. We would also like to use this opportunity to thank the top-notch people assisting us. As a company, we are currently customer-funded, but we are bootstrapped and on the pedestrian path. We have a main heading for where we want to go and the technical knowledge to get there. Hope I'm not scaring anybody with a straight line. Uh, 
the technical knowledge to get there, along with the required perseverance. We will be seeking considerable seed funding before long in order to speed up our process. Our hope here today is to spark interest among those of you looking to invest in technology. And we would welcome an opportunity to show you, properly show you activity stream, the business case and our plans in the near future. To Christian, the Clark Innovate team and Arian Bonke, I would like to say it's been a great summer. To the rest of you, thank you for being here today. It was an immense pleasure.